All right, let's continue the fight. So we've actually got pretty good control of this situation now, and I don't think the French can defeat us. We've taken most of their uh, most of their territories on the coasts, and that's what I think I want to continue doing uh, doing here is I want to continue to take some of these territories so that they can't build any any ships. There's no possibility of them blocking the Mediterranean. And that's really, uh, that I've actually had that happen before where they produced a single lone enemy boat and they were able to block, uh, you know, they were able to block my line of communications and all next thing you know, you've got like a revolution happening. So yeah, it's always good to try to eliminate their ports. So that's what we're gonna continue doing. So we'll continue the heat here. And I think, where did I leave off? I haven't played this in a while, so I wanna continue building, building up my forces. Let's see what the money situation is so good that we can just continue building along here. And these are the four provinces uh, these are the four provinces again that I want to continue building up here because they have the iron. That's really the key. Iron, iron, iron. That's what it's all about. All right, let's go ahead and end the round here. Yeah, you can see the French just took over the Pope. That's not good. Because the Pope will come back in several moves. And I think he usually spawns in these four territories right here. Naples, you know, the Vatican, Tuscany, pa Papal States. That's where he comes back. So maybe we'll hold off until he reappears. But we can continue to take some of these territories. We'll just cut. Yeah, you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll just come in here and we'll level the territories. So that the French are no... Actually, yeah, because they could move into Sicily now. So I think we're going to continue, continue the heat here. Apply some heat. So we'll move these two forces here. And I think we're okay right here for now. I want to capture this territory before I launch an attack into Venice. And then we'll just keep building up our forces. Okay, let's go ahead and end the round. And, well, we lost. Wow, okay. That's fine. They brought some additional forces in there. Not going to make a difference, though, because at this point, I can fight that war of attrition. This guy has no loyalty. Let's see here. There we go. I want one loyal gen general. Just give me one loyal general. Let's put this guy right here. Okay, good. And we're not going to waste any time here. We're just going to keep sending in forces. I might even send in this two-star. Let's actually do a switcheroo here. Wow, he's he's depleted too in terms of his uh, the horse units there. That's fine. What do we got here? Let's actually send everything we got. And you know what? I need to... Yes, I need one set of boats down here so that I can move my troops all the way around the peninsula. That is a problem. Okay. That'll be rectified the next round. Okay, so he's got a four star here, so we gotta somehow get. Well, you know what? He's still very depleted. Let's do this. Let's do a switcheroo here. Actually, the loyalty's still pretty good there, so what we'll do is move. Let's go on the attack. We're going to go on an all-out offensive here now. Just keep up the uh, the heat. This is becoming a war of attrition. And we took it. There we go. And this is more like a raid. I'm just going to destroy, level all of these territories so when the Pope comes back... He'll really have nothing to build, or nothing to work on, which is what we want. I think Genoa is relatively safe. We'll cut the taxes here, and let's build up some, some peasants. And let's move some more forces into there. 
and we'll just keep the heat on them. How long is that going to take? It's about to fall. That's good. And I think we're just going to keep this situation right here. Yeah, we're just going to keep this. Oh, our king's here. I didn't even realize that. Okay, let's move him down here. You sort of forget about that when the lines of communication are so good. Well, we got some generals down here. Let's marry some of these guys off. We'll keep the three stars. Well, actually, we'll, we'll disband the ones that have no loyalty. And then we'll marry off the princesses. Need to get some assassins. I think, yes, here we go. Yeah, let's build some assassins. I want to start taking out some of these inquisitors. They cause enough problems for me. I just want to get rid of them. Hopefully we have a prince in the works here. We do. Okay. And how old is this guy? 24. All right, that's good. So he's not going to die, hopefully, anytime soon, or that would end the game, which we, of course, don't want. Let's build up this province a little bit. And I think we're just going to keep the offensive going in Central Europe. I think that's what we're going to do. So we should be able to start moving some of these units now. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we can start moving some of these guys. We're making so much cash now, I don't even need, need to worry about the units. We're just going to just... This is going to become a war of attrition. Actually, we can move this guy in here, too. Probably should keep one army. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We'll keep one army right here. So I'll build this guy up. We'll, we'll just keep him here just in case a rebellion or something breaks out. I always have to remember that. I like to keep, like, an army every, you know... See, right here, this could be a problem. We have no armies if a rebellion breaks out. So I think what we'll do is get this fully this army fully equipped and then I'll move him down into Syria. Syria is nice because it touches so many provinces. Okay, let's continue on before the pope comes back. I want to combine some of these armies next round. Not sure what they're thinking about now, but they're thinking about something. Okay, we took Croatia. Good. Then I think we're going to make a move on Venice, and that will eliminate this port. So we've got... Yeah, we're just going to move armies into here now. And let's combine some of these guys up. And you know what? Let's bring... Let's put some of these generals into play here. Want to get some generals down there. Or up, up there. Let's check the loyalty just to make sure. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Aquitaine. Not so good. Build a church there. I gotta remember to keep building too. I always forget that. Can't forget that. Especially, you know, I gotta build some monasteries here. It's just good to keep an eye on it. Those monasteries are really helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and end the round. And they decided to launch an attack. That's fine. Barely won it, but that's fine. We got a general out of it. Okay, now we can combine up some of these armies with our generals. They should be more loyal now, and they are. 
Also helps to win battles. Start losing battles in Total War and you're gonna get a lot of uh, generals that aren't very loyal. Okay, so this guy... I remember this guy basically is very low on his... Yeah, we're low on horses there, so we'll just leave him there. And let's reinforce Venice. These look okay. Let's keep an eye on this. Alright, so like I said, this is just a raid. Because the Pope will come back, so we're just going to level the province. I don't really care what happens here. And we're just going to continue right down the, the line here. So I really don't want to go to war with the Pope. Not yet, at least. That's kind of like an endgame move where you, you... I usually take out the Pope that's like the last person because... You know, if you go to war with the Pope, he can really affect your, your loyalty. Especially since we are a Christian empire here. So it looks like Venice will fall after all. And I... You know what? We don't even need three armies here we can move another army we'll move one of the three stars up here there we go all right this is going good i think we're going to have that and the entire Italia, the entire italian peninsula uh destroyed which will be good and that will prevent the pope when he comes back from building ships just in case we went to war with him he'll have no ports nothing so how long is that going to be one year okay good Notice, like, every other round, I'm kind of just checking, checking to see if there's anything to build. It's easy to forget. And we got more armies here to deploy. That's good. We're just keeping the heat up. Now, why can't... Oh, gosh. Look at that. A boat slipped through. Another one slipped through. Darn it. Okay. See, I got to keep an eye on those, those boats. This is a game of micromanagement, after all. And, of course, that blocked me from moving my forces where I wanted to, but that's fine. One more round, we'll have that army built up. All right, let's see if we can capture the Papal States. Oh, they took out our fleet down there. Okay, that wasn't good. You know, I probably should have checked to see what rank he is. He's probably higher now. What do we got here? Let's move... This is why I like to keep this big fleet down here. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do... Move this guy down here. And let's immediately build some more boats. And that's fine. We're, we're at least taking out their ports. And I have to remember, to, again, to keep attacking their boats as they appear. We may go on a raiding mission up there, too, later on, or just take England all together. We'll see. England sometimes is hard to hold. You have to have uh, a lot of forces up there, especially Scotland. The Scottish don't like to be occupied. See, the Pope came back. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know what? He appeared in these two provinces, so what we'll do is we'll just surround him with armies. So I'll keep these provinces now. We'll keep some generals here. Boost up the taxes. And we'll start building them back up, slowly but surely. That's fine.
And I think... I think this army down here is ready to go. So, let's go ahead and move him down to Syria. And that way we'll be protected if some rebellion breaks out. And also, I think I'm going to give the king some forces too. Just in case something happens down there. So he's just moving down here. You know what? We may wait for him to appear in the Straits of Gibraltar. And then what we'll do is we'll attack him. Okay, good. So, things are going pretty good here. I think it's a foregone conclusion, but we'll continue to play on. Why not? And the Pope has some pretty decent, decently sized forces, so we do have to... We do have to move some armies in now. I have got to get rid of that fleet here. Where did he go? He went up here. Okay. That's fine. Let's sink him there. He's causing all sorts of problems. I don't think there's anything really left to build here. Doesn't look like it. Let's see if there's some reliquaries. I don't think so, but we'll just check. We can build a port there. A reliquary. I knew it. There was something. We, yeah, see, we need to build these. Always good to just spot check these things once in a while. See if there's anything to build. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's end the round. Finally took out that boat. Man, he was a problem. That's the problem when you get those ranked fleets. You get like a ranked admiral, they can cause problems. But that's fine. We can now... Yes, we can move all these guys around. Let's combine these armies. And let's send this army here. I want to protect Sicily. And I want to stick... I want to just surround the Pope with forces. We'll stay friends with him for a while. Oh, good. We can start assassinating the uh, Inquisitors. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so... Oh, we got to hand out a title here. He's now a five-star. Look at that. Okay. Just start handing out the titles. Okay, good. So let's do this. Let's take stock of the situation here. Yeah, we're just going to continue building here. I think we're close to getting these these units. You know what? We'll stop building here for now. We're just going to build out of this, this province, which is our fully upgraded province. And then we will continue. You know, let's see if there's any Inquisitors, anybody else I can take out. I don't know. Let's see. I don't see anybody else. Move this guy up here. Probably should add a couple more peasants here just to hold the territory. Just redistribute some of the... Um, some of the other units here. And let's move these guy this guy over here. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and end the round. I think we're about to go back on the offensive here in a few rounds. Oh, the French made a move down there. Okay, we got rid of the Inquisitors. We now control the largest military force. I like that. Yeah, they made a move down here, so... Yeah, we can't allow that. Because they could strike at Bulgaria, which is exposed right now. Yep, I think we're going to go back on the offensive in the Balkans. So, let's move some armies. We don't have any armies. No, we don't need these horses. Well, actually, we can reinforce this guy right here. So, I think... I think we're in pretty good shape here. They have quite a few forces, but they can't can't really attack any of our provinces without a good fight. So what we need to do now is start Well, you know what? I'm not going to wait. We're just going to start building some more armies here. Okay, so then what we'll do yeah, Sicily's safe. Okay, so let's end the round. I think I'm going to have to concentrate on the Balkans. They made a, a maneuver down there, so... They actually sent a crusade down. That's the wimpiest crusade. They actually think they're going to go through here? No. Check the loyalty here. Looking pretty good. I usually don't want anything below 100, 120. Then you got a problem. Serbia is at 100. Yeah, we got to... The Serbs don't want to be occupied, apparently. Let's build out. Let's put a bishop there. I should put a bishop in every province, but... They get assassinated a lot, so... That bothers me. It's easy to assassinate them. Alrighty. Just need to get those armies built out before I can go on another offensive. We are the richest. Let's see, did I see... I thought I saw another... Yes, there's another Inquis Inquisitor. Let's let's uh, let's take him out with our lead assassin here. He's a two-star. 86%, I like those odds. Let's go ahead and build the Citadel, and let's check our cash situation, which is just improving. That's what happens when you start conquering provinces, provinces so rapidly. Okay, these guys are getting seriously upgraded now. That guy's actually got a gold shield now. Alright, we're doing good. Let's just keep this going. Keep the factory going. And then we'll put the... Uh, we'll launch a major offensive in the Balkans. I think we're going to go... Well, we're going to take... Uh, we'll take Carpathia... And, Mold and Moldavia and Wallachia. And that will uh, ease the burden a little bit. In fact, this is a problem. They've got... Yeah, we now we got a problem here because... Yeah, this is dangerously exposed. Let's, let's do this. I've got a six-star here. We'll just move this army down here for now. 
Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Yep, they sure they came down. Look at that. And I lost a ship up here. I don't mind losing ships because it reminds you that you have to pay attention to the fleet, and I should. So let's let's attack some of these boats up here. Make sure nothing slipped down. Doesn't look like it. I don't see any French boats anywhere. They do have a port here. Yeah, that's a problem. Let's add a few more boats here just in case. Just in case. And what we'll do... We're, these armies are getting built up pretty good. And I think... Yeah, just one more upgrade and this will be this this uh, province will have fully upgraded soldiers. Just keep that factory going. Massive factory. How's Portugal? Looks good. That's why uh, Portugal's a really hard area to held. That's why I built the cathedral here. Portuguese do not like occupation. Okay, so this army is almost ready to go. And you know what? Let's do this. Oops, I had to put this army in Syria. And let's see. Let's move. Let's see if we can move this guy. Look how nice that is. We can just move him anywhere. We'll put 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 a few few peasants there just to hold that province. We're almost ready for the invasion of the Balkans. They keep coming down with that crusade, but then keep retreating. All right, we took out that Inquisitor. Do we have any other princes coming along? Yes, one more. I'd like to have at least two or three. Okay, so let's move. I want to put another general over here. Because we only have one. Yeah, we're... Well, we do have a guy here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just use him. It's doing better, but we'll add a few more. I don't want any chance of a rebellion there. And then let's check the loyalty. I think I think we're doing pretty good. Yep. All right. So now this is why these lines of communication are so important. That fleet, we can just move our armies right up here. I think this guy's ready to go too. Oh, nope, one more. Oh no, he is ready. I didn't realize. Yeah, we'll just Move this guy here. And one more army ready to go. You know what? Let's move these two guys right here down the bottom. And put this guy. I like to kind of tuck these guys away down in the corner. Or maybe right here, down here, just so I don't get them mixed up. All right, let's keep building along here. These provinces are still coming along. Things are looking pretty good. I think we'll give the king some troops and we'll just build them. Well, no, we can't. Maybe we'll just let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll give them give them some forces from here. Just five, five units that ought to do. All right, now we're gonna launch.
launch our invasion. And we're going to first attack. Yeah, we'll go here first. We'll leave one division here, send another division there. Okay, good. They're just going to be overwhelmed. It's a war of attrition now. Two years. All right, we'll wait. Wait it out. I don't think we need... Let's see what happens if I move this guy off with the loyalty. is 38%. That's not so good. Okay, we'll have to keep him there. But what we can do is switch out... We'll just put that army there. Because I want to get these generals into play here. So we'll do a switcheroo here. Switcheroo. Here. 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 And, oh gosh, I didn't have a boat built here. Okay. There's a mistake. Do I have anywhere I can build boats? No. Okay, well, let's build a shipwright. There. That was a mistake. That's fine. You know what? We'll just move this guy over here, and then we'll have another general in this vicinity, which is what I wanted to get. That's how you can quickly kind of move generals around. If you have them all lined up, one in every province, you can kind of, in a strange way, you can get a general all the way across the board pretty quickly. And I, that's what I wanted. I wanted another four-star, three-star, you know, minimum. And that's what I think. I think we're going to put this four star. Oh, gosh. I forgot about him. Okay. So, you know what? We'll leave him here and we'll move this guy over here. And these are these horses. You can see I forget these tasks I need to do. All right. So, I think we're ready. How long is this going to take? One year. Okay, good. Yeah, I want to get these two provinces and then we can... Maybe take a run at Poland or you know, Kiev. Maybe Kiev. Because I don't want them to build. Then they will be completely cut off from the Mediterranean. I mean, they'll have no opportunity. Oh, take a look at this. Here they come. And let's... I should have built up more boats here. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's Let's switch this around. Let's put this guy here. Move him here. Hopefully they don't attack my fleet. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Yeah, that's a problem. We're going to fight it out. We'll lose it, of course. Oh, wow. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, no, I never pay. Those guys lost. They deserve not to be rescued. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they came in major offensive. That's like the uh, Ardennes offensive in World War II. <sighs> wow. Okay, well, let's rush some troops up here. This is a... You know what? Darn it. All right, well, we're going to come in here. I'm not going to linger with this. We're going to have to suck some forces out here. What's going to happen here? We'll just cut taxes. And I'd like to get another... We are really stretched thin here on this line, but we're going to fight them. That's okay. We're just going to keep... That's why I got this factory going. We won't stop. They want to fight a war of attrition. They got it.
That is fine. We're prepared to fight that all day long. We'll just continue sending force after force after force. And let's... I don't know if I can... Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay. How about that? It's the nice thing about having a nice fleet. You know what? We're going to retreat from... Just for the moment, we're going to retreat from Wallachia. Okay, so Portugal. Can this guy get into... Yeah, we're going to put him here. And so this is the nice thing about having these reserve armies, in case you need them. And we did. I think we can defeat that pretty quickly. They're going to pay for that. That's why I like to maintain control of the seas and have our reserve armies ready to go. And we kicked them right out. Okay, good. Now, so we're still pretty thin here, but that's okay. We're going to get these armies deployed out pretty quickly. Let's, let's move this guy here. And we got to probably raise the taxes again because they they lowered them. And let's see. I think we got some more forces now to deploy in here. Yep. We're just going to keep them rolling in now. Okay, well, we sort of, that sort of caught me off guard. I'm not sure. They, they, I think they just threw everything at us there. They still got a lot of forces built up, though. I'm Okay, well, it's not as secure as I thought, and sometimes that happens. So we overexpanded maybe a little too quickly, but we were able to sort of deal with that. And that's why I like to keep these reserve divisions sort of hanging around in case you need to use them. I think we're pretty safe here for now. Well, I don't know. They have a lot of a lot of armies, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to have to keep building up here. And I gotta keep their fleet. I gotta keep my fleet going too because they're sending in boats. Gotta remember to attack them. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop. We'll continue on in the next video.